Hello, I'm Dave Speakman. Today we're going to talk about these GIK acoustic panels that I've bought. I'm going to show you the unboxing of them and how they've come, how they were packaged, and just give you a general overview of the quality of these products. I've had a delivery. The panels that I've ordered from GIK Acoustics have come, so I'm going to open them now and see um, see what we've got. I'm quite excited. Um, this is some cloth. I'm not going to open that first because that's boring. Um, but I've bought some cloth to cover the rest of my panels with. It's the same colour as the panels are. So we'll start with this box here and see what we've got. So these are some of the uh, the thinner base traps that I've ordered. I think these are the 50 mil thick base traps. They're very well packaged, which is nice to see. Yeah, there's this stuff on the corners. Wow. Okay, so I've gone for a walnut veneer on the front. I don't remember the, the colour. Some sort of grey, essentially. I'll put this here against the piano. Okay. The craftsmanship's really something on them, to be fair. Okay, so these are the 100 mil base traps. Again, I've gone for the same veneer on the front, so they should match the 50mm ones. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're incredible. Whew. This box here will be another one of those, so I'll open this and see what this is. I know what it is. You'll have to wait and see. So this is a 7QD. Quadratic diffuser. Again, I've gone for the walnut. It's uh, yeah, it's quite something. It weighs an absolute ton. Uh, that looks incredible. I've bought two of these as well, so um, yeah, brilliant. Right, I'll unpack the rest of it. They're quite difficult to unpack, actually. It's, um, it's probably worth having somebody with you to do it. I'm, I'm just here on my own, but it's probably worth having somebody with you to do it when you do it. Because they're very heavy. And um, I suppose if I wasn't being daft trying to do it on camera, I'd just take my time. As you can see, the standard of the product's extremely high. They're really, um, they're really something, actually. I'm just going to grab one down off the wall. Grab this one. 
So they're pretty cool. They've got a really good look to them. Um, the ones that I've bought have a diffuser on the front of the panel. So these are 100 mil base traps and they have diffusion on the front. In my room, I've got quite a lot of absorption already and I just felt that I needed a little bit more diffusion. I've also bought some of the Q7D diffusers. Now these are huge things, absolutely massive diffusers. I'll show you the price of these on screen now. These panels weren't cheap and the diffusers weren't cheap, but at the same time, I think that you actually get what you pay for. I have some panels that I've made and they're okay. I'm okay at doing things like that. I'm not amazing at it. I think if you were really, really good at constructing things and you really enjoyed doing things like that, maybe you could make your own. I couldn't make anything to this standard at all, especially not with the diffusers on front. I also have some standalone, some large standalone GIK panels. They were the ones that I bought first. I actually bought them off eBay. I think they were unused show stock, so I think they've been out on display. I was really impressed with the quality of them, which is what led me to invest in these panels here. Um, I'm quite pleased with these. I think that they, they should have been worth the money. In terms of how they look in the room, I think that they really give the room an impact. And I know that they're primarily for acoustic performance, but the way that they look is important and the way that they look for clients when they come in so that the, the room looks impressive. I think that's an important part of, of what we do as, as audio engineers. Looking at the, the quadratic diffusers, when they came actually, they, they, they looked a little bit like the workmanship wasn't as good, but I, um, I administered a quick correction and that seemed to sort them out for the most part. Hanging the panels was easy enough. I'll show you that now. It came with the, the clips that you need to put it in and then I just screwed two screws into the wall and they went up. The quadratic diffusers come with pleats to hang them on the wall. I haven't done that. I, I've literally just put them up on the uh, cupboards. I probably will mount them with the pleats for safety so, so that they're not gonna fall on anybody. Uh, the, they're pretty well up there as they are, but I will do that just to be on the uh, safe side. But I'm not 100% sure that that's where I want them at this stage, so I'm, I'm trying them there. In terms of acoustic performance, the room sounds phenomenal. I'm really pleased with how it sounds in here. It's been an improvement on how it was previously. Previously, I had some panels that I made myself. I've got six large bass traps, two in the corners here and here and another four that go along all the way along there they're essentially rock wool triangles of rock wool in a frame that i built thank you very much for watching if you're interested in what i'm doing please do subscribe and hit the alarm bell i've got some more content coming soon if you subscribe you'll you'll see what's coming thank you very much cheers thanks for watching